14 million people were watching? Like, how do you quantify that in your head? Or did you not, and did you just sing to the audience that was in the crowd with you? You know, it's really weird. Um, I actually just, not in a selfish way, because if you know me, you know that I wasn't doing it for me. But um, that night at the finale, I was like, you know what? I got to do this for me, because if I walk away from this and I, nothing becomes of it, I'll, I'll regret just thinking, man, there were so many people that you let down. I said, you know what? If you let yourself down, that's okay, because you're gonna get, you're gonna walk away from this and be okay. But um, I don't know. We played a gig two weeks ago uh, back in close to my hometown in Tupelo, which I mentioned in the song and the single. And uh, we, I played the gig exactly a year ago, same gig, same time for four people. Well, three people and a husky. <laughs> it's my mom, my dad, my best friend Riley, and his dog. And one year later, we play it for a sellout crowd. I mean, wow. several thousand people were at it. And so, in music, like you get, you do all this investing and time and money and all this effort, and you know, you go broke and you you don't have anywhere to play, and all you want to do is play, and you invest all this, but you don't ever get a return on it, you know. And that's all you ever really want. So when they announced my name, when Ryan announced my name on April seventh, like that was finally the return. Yeah. Like I got the return on the investment. So, and all Idol really did, you know, was I'm super grateful, but all it did in the real, you know, spectrum of things was like it got me to the bottom of the next level up. <laughs> well, a lot of people don't get to that level. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. run out of money or run out of time, you know, and so I, I got to that level and so that, you know, I'm, I'm good with that. Just give me a chance, you know. And I, it's like the secret level in Mario Brothers or something. Like when you hit the turtle and it goes and goes and goes and then you're like ding, ding, ding. Yes, that's, like when you go above yeah. the clouds. Yes, yes. Like there's, exactly. there's pennies perfect. up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> hey, I'm on your level. I'm picking up what you're putting down, okay? <laughs> yes. All right, so we already know from here you're going to fly to New York City, which is really exciting. Have you been to New York before? I have. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of... Two of my bestest friends in the whole wide world uh, are from Jersey, and they gig in the city. They gig in New York all the time, so I'm going to meet up with them. Uh, maybe somehow I, I could sneak them into the premiere of it. Uh, <laughs> that'd be really cool. But um, I've been to New York. I love New York. Yeah. When you woke up this morning, did you brush your teeth with a regular toothbrush or an electronic one? Regular. Okay. And toothpaste, mint or paste? Gel or paste? Paste. It was 3 a.m. He's not paste. <laughs> paste. I'm trying to think. I've never thought about that, but it's paste. Yeah. yeah. And did you get to consult on any of J Lo's outfits for American Idol? I didn't, but I approved of all. <laughs> <laughs> and drop the mic. Me too. All right. Trent Harmon is here with us at 95.5 The Bull. You are getting a ton of comments, by the way. A lot of people love you. Love Trent. Love Trent. Edward, going to see Thank you next week in Ohio. Beth totally voted for you. Shannon says, what a smile. Looking forward to the song release. Uh, nice guest. Um, hello, Trent. So <laughs> with that, uh, let's give us one more, would you please? All right. So to say just a little second about this, I sang this uh, one week on the show. And uh, it was at top five. And um, the lady that I got to work with, you have heard her, but you haven't seen her. So there's your first really lame hint. Yeah. Um, and she came to all the people that were left, and I was the, on the far left. And she came to the first one. I couldn't hear what she said, the second one. By the third person that was in the middle, I could tell that she was complimenting people based on the songs that they had chosen that were in her repertoire. So like the next one, she says, oh, you're gonna do great. I loved when I got to write that song. I love getting to sing it, and I'm gonna love hearing you sing it. And she gets to me, and I'm standing here like, Man, I'm gonna get complimented by Sia on national TV. <gasps> Except she says, oh, you've had a really good run, darling. Oh. Why would you choose that song? <gasps> the hardest possible song you could sing. Why would you want to choose that? And she just kind of walked off. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, okay, well, we're playing hardball. Like, we're playing for, for keeps here. And so later on, she told me off camera, she was like, you know, I said that because I knew you would work hard. And she said, I'd already heard what you had. And she said, it was good. It was a seven. And she was like, but I knew you were capable of seeing it better than that. So I called you out. And she said, I want you to dig deeper because that's the hardest song in my repertoire. And I think you can do it. Ooh. So she, she called me out, man. She really did. So um, the name of it, Chandelier. And thank y'all for having us. Thank uh, iHeart for having us here. And um, can't wait to premiere the song Friday. It's kind of, I'm sitting here thinking about my whole life. I'm premiering the song on iHeart Friday. <laughs> like in New York City. I mean, a year ago I was... 
I was riding a, a John Deere tractor and shoveling cow poop for a living. Like that's 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 pretty surreal, you know. So, all right. Party girls don't get hurt. Can feel anything. When will I learn? I push it down. I push it down See I'm the one for a good time call Phones blowing up is ringing my doorbell I feel the love, I feel the love Whoa, one, two, three, one, two, three, three one, two, three, one, two, three, drink. One, two, three, one, two, three, drink. Throw them back as I lose count. I'm gonna sweep from the chandelier, from the chandelier. Like it doesn't exist Until I, I'm gonna fly like a bird through the night Feel my tears as they dry I said I, I'm gonna swing from the chandelier from the chandelier But I'm holding on for dear life Won't look down, won't open my eyes Keep my glass full until morning light Until morning light Until morning light I'm gonna fly up through the night Feel my tears I said I, I'm gonna swing from the chandelier, from the chandelier.